Good evening, everyone. I, I would like to make some preliminary remarks on procedure. So, or, or, is the video on? So we're gonna, it, does everybody have an agenda in front of you, first off? Yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. So we're gonna, we're gonna follow this agenda. We'll call it to order, do the roll call, Lavelle. Okay. Then ask for any audience participation. I She's gonna do it by herself. Don't think we'll have any. We'll go out on a limb. And then at that, we'll break into our subcommittees and we'll do those spread out in the room and then we'll come back and do a report. I got it from so. okay. And then we'll finish off, obviously, the balance yeah, of the agenda. Brother Mike, when he came that works. Dad usually All right. Like you, um, Thanks. You'd be well positioned to chair this uh, I, I can't. I know you can't. I'm just saying you'd be well positioned to <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I'm well positioned to read. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, all right. I will call us to order. All right, Thank thanks. you. All right. The time is now 6.03 p.m. Call to order the Special Committee for Justice, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion of the City of Queensburg. Um, first up, we will call roll. Emmanuel? Here. Crystal? Here. Akil? Lavelle? Here. Andrea? Here. Jeffrey? Here. Sam? Here. Greg? Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I need an updated role. I'm, I'm so. a player to be named later. I'm Greg Bellin, replacement. <laughs> <laughs> Bill? Thank you. You're welcome. Karen? Daisy? Present. Um, Larney? Jeremy? Here. Do we have any other? She's right there. Hi. Hi. How are you? So come up. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. What's your name? Kelly. Kelly. Shannon. Here. Jess. Here. We miss Karen. I called She's Karen. Here. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. But did I miss anybody? Okay. Matt. Yeah. Oh, Matt. <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matt. All right. Um. So at this time, do we have any audience participants? Hi, I'm Kelly Perez. I'm the new HR director for the city of Twinsburg. I started about two, a little over two months ago. Um, I've been in human resources my entire career. Um, I started in the private sector. Um, I was a consultant, uh, and then I worked for a uh, manufacturing company for two years as an HR strategic partner. And I am happy to be here with the city of Twinsburg. This is my first time in the public sector. I've been learning a ton, and I'm looking forward to uh, working with everybody and learning more. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Jason. Matt, please. You can introduce yourself. <laughs> I would like to introduce Jason, who will be introducing himself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. How's it going, everybody? My name is Jason Great. Buell, and I'm going to be a senior at Bowling Green State University. I'm a criminal justice major, and uh, I need 400 hours to graduate, so I'm an intern here at City Hall. <laughs> And I'm very interested to see what you guys do. So nice to meet you guys. Fantastic. Nice to meet you, Jason. Welcome. Good job. Any other audience participation? OK, hearing none, um, at this time, we will proceed to our subcommittee breakout sessions. Um, my understanding is that originally the first hour is going to be dedicated to that. So we will plan to reconvene at 7 PM. And then we will, um, and then we will move back into our larger group sessions. So at this time, oh yes. If we don't need till mm -hmm. seven, because we're just Good reviewing point. it, can we reconvene a little earlier? Good point. Yes, we are not married to seven p.m. in the event that we do uh, that, we are prepared to, to come back together before then. We'll do that. Very good call. Thanks, everybody. I can talk. We're reconvening. Um, the Special Committee for Justice, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. And we're going to, having concluded the subcommittee breakout sessions, um, jump back into the agenda at item five, which will be our subcommittee reports. So I'll go in order of the breakout sessions, and I'll ask uh, Mr. Tyus, if you don't mind, starting us off with the Justice and Police Relations. So Justice and Police Relations, uh, Sorry we took so long, by the way, everyone, but we're about business and justice uh. and police relations. <laughs> but anyway, um, we discussed some things. We sort of picked up 
where we left off the last time we met, we highlighted a few things that our wish list of activities that we might want to pursue. Um, we also address the list that myself, Officer Zeller, and um, Matt Pizana, um created during our last meeting with the consultant, um, where we came up with objectives and action steps and things of that nature. It turned out that many of the action steps that we came up with were also mentioned at the meeting with the consultants last week. So uh, I think we're on the right track of things that we would like to see get done. An example, I won't go through all of them, but an example would be having an um, open forum or, or a um, police and fire open house all right, those are, those are actually two separate. Keep in mind that, you know, the city does an open house right now, but this particular open house that we would do would be primarily for our historically or systemically underrepresented or underserved residents <coughs> to come in and interact with um, our police and fire. So we thought about doing something like that in the fall so that more people can be in attendance with you know, less people traveling and, and things of that nature. So that's an example of something that we are trying to work on. There are other things that we're trying to work on that we discussed. Uh, Chief Mason would like for us to work on coming up with a database of interpreters that's a that's an issue within the city of Twinsburg where you have a lot of people who uh, speak different languages and things of that nature and that was something that Chief Mason <clears throat> brought to our attention last year um, that he had tried and was wasn't as successful and so working with our group to try to come up with ideas to make that more successful is something that we're gonna work towards so that was the gist of what we were in there discussing, just um, trying to get the ball back up and running again, so. Thank you, anything else to add to the Justice and Police Relations Subcommittee summary? Okay, hearing none, we'll move on to city employment diversity. I, we, Talked, we updated the list. However, I did not get the list on my email. So I'm gonna let Crystal <laughs> go through it. Might have been go there. through the list. Sure. And I'm looking at both emails, I don't know where it went. But we did change a couple objectives around because we thought it could be incorporated better. Um, but I'll let Crystal take it. Sure. So the goal is to create a racially diverse workforce that values equity and seeks to develop an environment that is just and inclusive. And um, the first objective is around recruitment, focusing on where and how the city recruits minority staff um, with a focus on targeting seasonal positions and internships and the Explorers program, um, reviewing cur the current ma racial makeup of city employees and setting a strategic goal to increase the number of uh, minority full-time salary employees within the next three to five years. Um, we also <laughs> talked about examining city policies and protocols to determine to identify areas for potential changes and focusing on where and how the city recruits diverse vendors. Um, the second objective is around retention, examining opportunities to support and promote racially diverse staff to explore training and professional development opportunities. Um, and then also the second one, examining city policies and protocols about regarding retention to identify areas for potential changes. And then the third and final um, objective is around organizational climate, culture, and commitment. Um, the city of Twinsburg um, should explore hiring a consultant to survey staff to gauge um, organizational culture and make recommendations related to changes that could improve the city workforce climate. We don't anticipate that this would start until after the implementation of a lot of the new practices and policies and protocols that we've outlined in um, the, the document here. And then the second is 
um, really the HR director and mayor reviewing recommendations for adoption from the consultant. So um, organizational leaders committing to annual trainings on um, unconscious bias and REI, racial equity and inclusivity training annually. That's it. <coughs> Thank you. Excellent. All right. Um, anything else to add to the City Employment Diversity Report? Hearing none, moving on to community outreach. All right, so we basically focused on looking at the original document that we created during our last meeting and comparing it to the edits that were requested um, by the Dr. Taylor and Liz um, through email. And so we made some changes, and I'm going to go over some of those changes that we made to our document um, prior to us discussing this with you before. Um, so mainly we looked at timelines, trying to have concise timelines based on when this plan is going to actually take, take place. So we're looking at probably November, October. Is our um, idea of maybe when this will um, be implemented and then everything else is going to be based on you know when the initial things so we're looking at um, first and creating a website or some sort of landing page is really what we want to focus on so that we can direct the citizens somewhere so they can look at what we're doing uh, what we're focusing on what our next steps are things like that so we really have somewhere to, for them to go um, we also want to look at uh, our objective two is creating programming and events that are representative of the city's diverse population. So the Dr. Taylor and Liz would like us to flesh out that description and just expound on it a little bit more. So I'm going to read what we created for that. Initially, we just had create educational opportunities and create relationship building opportunities, but we wanted to go a little bit more in depth. So for create educational opportunities that bring awareness to topics such as the cultural diversity that Twinsburg's diverse population has brought to the city. For example, this could take the form of showcasing educational Diwali mini videos on the Jedi website or partnering with the Senior Center to create a book display featuring black authors during Black History Month would be some ex examples. Um, two, create relationship building opportunities within the community that allow people from various walks of life to interact and discuss shared interests, such as partnering with the Police and Justice Committee to initiate a food festival. So those are some of the ways that we kind of just broadened our initial description. Um, uh, we were also talking about creating like the QR code to, uh, to attach to something printed so that when council members walk their wards, they actually have something that they can leave with their constituents so that they have something they can focus on it and, and draw their attention back to it. Um, so they have uh, and talking points for the Jedi overall. Fantastic. Anything to add to the community outreach report? All right, hearing none, um, we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up this year. Um, so we'll move on to the next item, which is the full committee report. Yeah, is everyone good with this format of how we're doing this tonight? And I know it's the first time we're doing subcommittees and full on the same night. So does that work? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to work into the schedule. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Um, so in terms of the full committee, well, you know what, I'll bring it up on the new business. All right, uh, moving on to the next agenda item. Do we have any unfinished business? Um, obviously the, the work that we're doing with the consultant, I think kind of falls under there, but other than that work, do we have any additional unfinished business? So can I ask a question regarding it? So where do we stand on it? All the data has been sent to her and we're waiting for a final report to come back. Is, is that how I understand this? So right now there was a, a subcommittee that we were waiting on to get some information, I believe, back over to them, and then the, the edits from tonight, and then she'll have a, a report. Okay, thank you. I yeah. just wanted to understand the process. Will that report be in paper format? Or? I'm assuming it will be emailed to us. I'm not, I wasn't part of the initial consultation with her, and when she was chosen, I don't know if there was anything outlined. Just do you remember if there was like a specific, I thought there was, going to be something, but I don't know if it was paper. A final report overall of basically consolidating this, but I think the next step after she gets everything from us based on reading her emails, um, I thought that she was going to then send us a finalized copy, but then she would like us all to review each other's plans, give feedback um, written through via email, and then she would take those into account and then create something that is final. 
But, Thank you. But she's not going to come back and present her final. No, I think all of her in-person uh, requirements have been met at this point. Thank you, Bill. Good question. Mm -hmm. Any other unfinished business to discuss? All right, moving on to new business. I would like to raise that the structure of this committee remains unchanged from our initial appointments of a year and a half ago. So um, in that spirit, would we like to open up the floor for the election of officers? Is there anyone who is not serving as an officer who would like to? Is there anyone who would like to move around our subcommittee position? Or are there any officers who would like to no longer be in charge? Are there any officers who would no longer like to be in charge? <laughs> Excuse me, officers. <laughs> oh, look, I, I don't mind a seat, but I also, you know, you'll hear me preach about term limits. Um, so <laughs> if there's somebody who would like to sit in this chair, by all means, do not let me hold a hostage. I'm happy to continue so, to facilitate meetings and, and to help us move the mission forward. So what what possibly we could consider or you could consider mm -hmm. is put election of officers on the next agenda. Then a month later, you'll have a month to think about it. You make uh, nominations <laughs> and that way. Shannon's you, laughing because I did. <laughs> okay. She, if it's already done, it's done. I, did, I was unaware. No, 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 you're fine. Um, so we can do that, but I also don't want to waste time if nobody's going <laughs> to, if nobody has, nobody would like to move. So let's do this. Um, I won't put you on the spot, but perhaps if you have an interest in shifting around, you reach out to Shannon. And in the event that there is interest, we'll add it to the agenda. Right. Good? If you added it to the agenda, then those who are, would be reaffirmed. So, just you know, thank you. The other committees of uh, council, planning, ARB, every year they have an election of officers, typically in March, April. She's because I did in January and I was I was <laughs> I was counseled. So, um, but uh, yeah. anyway, and should there. Be another swear again, given that it's a new term. Yeah, we had those at the last meeting, but we didn't have a full. Yeah, everyone. So, yeah, we will do that. Okay. In Any other new business? Okay. Um, miscellaneous. <laughs> All right, hearing none, next item is the announcement of our next full committee meeting, which will be Monday, September 12th at 6 o'clock p.m. And Shannon, are we doing the same structure? We're going to do that moving forward? It's working with everybody, then yeah, we'll keep that. Okay, excellent. So 6 p.m., we'll do subcommittee meetings. Well, maybe 6.05 based upon the time we got started tonight. Um, and then we'll move into the full body meeting after. Okay, all right. Yeah, quick question sure. for Shannon, maybe. So we are we are supposed to get paid for these meetings or something like that. So is, is there something for us to sign? Or? So you got emailed a packet of paper um, paperwork to fill out um, today. No, this no, one is back back in April. April. Mine's dated yeah. April. Did I feel? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you might be up to fifty dollars. No. <laughs> 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 Just that. Well, yeah, so from council uh, voted, I don't have the exact date in my head, but they voted to change and couple months effective for, this, uh, for the second quarter, so April, May, and June. So. so if you've not done your paperwork, we should get that to yes. share in the case. Yeah. You need the paperwork to get paid because yeah. they need social security numbers just like you're applying for a job like the first week of work. Yeah. Um, so. The salary ordinance was amended, I believe, in March which added the Jedi Committee to that list. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's all documented there. It's just a matter of getting paperwork in and. So 
On that note, if anybody is a public servant in another community or has any type of retirement from a public entity, um, please talk to me separately because there could be some questions or variable things with that. So that would probably affect you to let you. You have overs? No, I'm not STRS. So it, I think that will, it's still state funded, so we'll, we can talk. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Then I have 713. We are adjourned. Oh